Greetings everyone! In this video we're going to take a look at a new feature the Realtrack team has called the state of the job. Any production manager or shop owner knows that the question, what's going on with that one job, is really quite a loaded question. Taking a look at the completed router operations for a job is part of a clue, but it's really just one tiny aspect of a total life cycle of a job. Our users told us they needed a single comprehensive view of the status of the job, and thus our state of the job feature was born. The state of the job interface will examine not only the job's router, but will also examine the status of purchasing for the job, inventory allocations for the job, invoicing and shipping of the parts, any outstanding quality issues, and many others. From our initial tests, users have already seen results in the form of more accurate costing on their jobs and more accurate shipments to their customers. Whether it's before closing a job or any time a project manager or ownership needs an update, the state of the job is ready to give the user an immediate snapshot into their business. So let's dive right on in and take a look at this new feature. Let me pop into a job and take a peek -see at the state of the job interface. Before we get too far, I'd like to mention that since the state of the job interface does contain important pricing and costing information, we've added a new permissions level specific to allow or deny access to the screen. So for our existing users, as you prepare to use this feature for the first time, be sure to check on the permissions in your employee setup screen. All right, so along the top of our screen, we see some basic information on our job. We see the total costs that we've accumulated for the job thus far, along with our expected total income for the job and our current rate of profit. Our reporting button will allow the user to run any of our cost analysis reports if you'd like a more in-depth look into the labor and or buyout costs that have been incurred in the job. The main body of the state of the job consists of a series of alerts. In addition to the information shown on the screen, users are able to hover over this icon on each alert and get more information. Each pop-up can include details about what the condition means, some possible ramifications if the alert is not addressed, along with some suggestions on how to satisfy the alert. We place our alerts into broad categories such as router, purchasing, quality, invoicing, and the like. And every alert is either actionable or not actionable. As we see here for OP10, an alert that lets us know that our actual labor time has exceeded 150% of our estimate. This is an alert that we can't really act on. What has been done has been done, but it's something that management and ownership probably wants to know. On the other hand, if a router operation is still open and it should not be, there's some action that our user can take. As we scroll through our alerts, any alert that has a button under the resolve column is an alert that the user can act upon. By clicking on that button, Realtrack will launch them right into the direct interface they need to use to address the issue. Not every alert is going to be addressed. If a user wishes to formally acknowledge an alert and signal that they're intentionally not addressing it, they can choose to do that by acknowledging the alert. By selecting within this noted column, we are telling Realtrack that we do not intend to look at this specific alert. Realtrack uses its built-in audit trail technology to timestamp the acknowledgement and note the specific Realtrack user that has chosen to note the exception. Let's take a look at some more alerts and business intelligence the State of the Job interface can provide. Within Jobs Routers, State of the Job will monitor operations completed in less than half of the estimated time, as well as routers that took over 150% of the original estimated time. In both cases, your ownership and management teams may be interested to review those estimates and see if any lessons can be learned for future runs of similar parts. The state of the job is also always monitoring your costs and comparing them to your estimates. We will monitor when the actual costs have exceeded your estimates, which is something that's important to all shop owners. For purchasing, Realtrack will keep track of expected and outstanding purchase orders associated with the job. If there are any POs still open for the job, or if some of the items on the PO have yet to been received, the state of the job will let you know right away that some of the purchasing needs have not yet been met. In addition to purchasing, the Realtrack user's inventory is scoured to make sure there isn't material that has been allocated for the job, but not yet moved and consumed by the job. Quality-wise, the last thing in the world a shop owner would want to do is to ship out pieces with a known defect. When an open nonconformance has been detected in regards to our parts, we are immediately warned, letting us know to make sure only to ship our customers the highest quality parts. For invoicing and shipping, any open shipment schedules, along with any jobs back order quantities are analyzed to make sure that all of our expected shipments have left and our customer is satisfied. Okay, that's a brief overview of some of the alerts that the Realtrack State of the Job system now examines. 
Uh, thanks a bunch for taking a quick tour of our state of the job. All Realtrack customers will be receiving this new feature with their next update, which should be coming very shortly. So an existing customer or not, if you'd like to learn more about the state of the job or the Realtrack Performance ERP, please visit our website at www.realtrack.com. Please don't be shy. Reach out uh, to us here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this or on our website and let us know what other new features your company needs to win the business race. Thanks a bunch.